how do you actually establish pricing for some of your pieces? I mean, yeah, I've yeah. read up on several different models and it's like, you know, I, I'm, I'm in a very small suburban town outside Toledo, Ohio. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not, they don't necessarily have deep pockets, if you will. So don't worry about that. That's nonsense. trying to price without, the good, you know, the chasing good, people the good news, The good news about pricing, okay, is it is an utterly, totally, and completely reversible decision. Okay. And when we look at our yeah. businesses, we have to always ask ourselves, is this a is this a reversible decision or an irreversible decision? If it's reversible, then waste no less than thirty seconds deciding. You could throw darts on a dartboard for all I care because you can raise the prices and lower the prices at any point in time. Now that's on originals, okay? On prints, we recommend a two hundred and fifty percent markup relative to your cost. And what that does is it gives you the flexibility to be able to have sales from time to time and not destroy your margins, right? Because if you have a 250% markup and you do 20% off or 15% off, then you're not chewing into your margins all that bad. And you can raise or lower the Mm -hmm. prices whenever you want with zero downside, it does not matter. More often than not, what I see is artists terrified and petrified to raise their prices. And so you need to do that too. Like, you know, one one of the most important things where artists screw up all the time is not understanding the way of the world. And the way of the world is, I usually have a pen, but again, I have small children in my house right now that steal everything. Um, everyone's followers, everyone on this call, doesn't matter if you're from Toledo, Ohio, or I'm from Southern California, okay? They all fall into a social, socioeconomic bell curve. Low income folks, lower middle class, middle class, upper middle class, high net worth individuals. The socioeconomic bell curve, okay? And obviously, the, 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 the fewest numbers are on, on, on the high end of the scale. The, the, the key, okay, is to have price points for everybody on the curve. And what does that mean? You need to have price points under $100. You need to have price points from 100 to 1,000. And then it's just as important to have the price points that are really obscenely expensive. Like a lot of, like a, I, I will tell my customers, like, what do you price your originals at? Oh, 2,500 to 3,000. Okay, well, wonderful. I want something in the store for 15 grand or 20 grand. It's just as important to have one up there as it is at the low end of the thing. And once you study enough data and you understand the store, I don't even want to call it an art business because I want to take your mind off of it. The store will do much better financially if it has price points for all those folks. Okay. And, and sometimes there's, there's people at the high end that will only buy the high end stuff. And then in the middle is easy. And then at the low end, you know, they might be living in their mom's basement and love what you're doing, or they might be in, in low income housing in Toledo, but you have a tote bag because you're also selling merchandise or you have a coffee cup and then I buy a coffee cup. And then guess what? Four years later, Terry, I'm out of my mom's basement. I have a dog in my own house and I'm ready to buy an original. The only reason you got that sale is because I've been drinking my coffee and staring at your work every day for the last four years. Okay. That sale doesn't happen. That sale doesn't happen unless you have a price for them right there. So, it's, it's one of the things that we teach. It's one of the things that we get you set up on. It's, it's very easy to lower, raise the prices at any point in time. Very, very easy. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for checking out the Q&A. What if you have your own question? First, uh, you can leave me a comment below on this YouTube video. I see them. I will respond. Uh, number two, uh, definitely encourage you to subscribe. It's very easy to do. There's some fancy motion graphics going across the screen now. Uh, but there's a subscribe button. There's a bell button. You'll know when we're live. You can come on and say, Patrick, I have a question, uh, even from your YouTube app, which is super handy. And then the third is three times weekly, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, free Zoom calls. We call them the Art Business Workshops. There's going to be a link uh, directly below me in this description. You can sign up. Uh, they're free. You can come answer your question, which I'm sure will be awesome. And I will do my measure best to uh, make sure my advice is slightly better than marginal. Uh, no, but I'm, in all seriousness, I'll, I'll, I'll take a crack at answering it. Thanks. Uh, thanks for checking out this video.